بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الاسلام is the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in so many hadith let us know the importance of adhering steadfast to the sunnah. His sunnah alayhi salatu wa sallam and we've mentioned that many times. And that the da'wah of Ahl sunnah our da'wah is calling to the Qur'an and calling to the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen is perfect and believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes that he can be worshipped by and called upon and that they are unique to him and that they come from the Qur'an and come from the authentic sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and that they that the uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord and the creator of the heavens and earth. And Ahl Sunnah, we believe that the only guidance and the best guidance is that of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is what came in the Quran, the revelation, and that is the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we believe in the pillars of Iman and the pillars of Islam, the five pillars of Islam that were narrated uh, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith of Jibreel was asked about Islam. He said, in two, uh, he, said ya, uh, he was asked, Ya Muhammad, akhbirni of Islam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, That Islam in tishan wa la ilaha illa wa wa anna Muhammad rasulullah wa tukimu salah wa tutiyu zika wa tusumu ramadhan wa tahajjim bayna nisnadada ilayhi sabir. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the five pillars of Islam. He said, Islam is to bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except the law. And that the Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last Prophet and Messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam. And that it is to establish the prayer, the five daily prayers. And to pay the zakat. And to fast the holy month of Ramadan. And make the sacred pilgrimage to Mecca if one is able to do so. That's what we believe is Ahl Sunnah. And Ahl Sunnah also believes in the six pillars of Iman that also came in the same hadith. Where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked about a man, and he said, In tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa yawm al-akhir, wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa shawm. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, that a man, it is to believe in Allah. And again, that affirms first that tawheed. In tu'mina billahi wa malaikati, and the angels, and their various jobs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them for, and that they're obedient, perfectly obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't believe in the concept of a fallen angel. And we believe in the divine books, that they are the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that they are the uh, divine and real books that contain the speech of Allah, and the only one and the final one, and the one that abrogated the others is the Quran. That's the last and final speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine message that is from Allah, the Lord of the heavens and the world of earth, and is not created. And we believe in the in the NBA, the, the messengers, alayhim after salatu salam, that were sent all the way from Adam alayhi salatu salam, the father of mankind, to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of them we believe in them, we love them all. Jesus alayhi salatu salam, Moses, uh, Ibrahim, Dawood, all of them, alayhim after salatu salam. And that they're the best of mankind. And we believe in the day of judgment that all of us will be held accountable for our actions and that we'll be resurrected out of our graves and called to account for what we did in this life. And that this life is Dar al Amr and the Akhirah is Dar al Jaza. That this life is the life in which we do deeds that are going to help us or hurt us. And that the Akhirah, the hereafter, is the time in which we'll be uh, compensated for how we live this life. And then we believe in the divine destiny, the good and the evil of it, as the Prophet sallallahu said, that we believe that everything is, a, is in accordance with the, the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
Ta'ala and that he created everything and that everything is written that has happened to us, that would happen to us, that will happen to us, that and, and, and it happened to those before us. This is what Ahl Sunnah believes. And Ahl Sunnah follows the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu We believe in the Dawah of Allah. As Shaykh and Shaykh Uqbal bin Hadi and Wa'adi, Allah yar'amuhu, he mentioned in one of his lectures entitled Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, a very beautiful lecture that I listen to often. And I listen to it literally maybe hundreds of times. The Shaykh said in, in a part of his lecture, in, in, uh, um, his lecture in the beginning, he said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. Who a dawa, or he a dawa in a kitabillah, or min kitabillah in a kitabillah, or min sunnah to Rasulullah in a sunnah to Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Beautiful, beautiful, very precise, simple statement. Our dawa is from the Quran to the Quran. And our dawa is from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that statement right there, you could write a book and do produce lectures and, and durus just from that simplistic statement. That that's the dawah of the sunnah that we call not to ourselves, not to our group, not to our race, not to our people, not to our national nationality, not to our tribe. We call it kitabi la wasallam, the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Sabil al-Mu'minin. That's what we call to. That's the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. The Ahl Sunnah, we love the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiya Allah Ta'ala and Ajma'in, which goes against the da'wah of the Khawarij, goes against the da'wah of the, uh, the Shia, those people who hate and believe they're coming closer to Allah by cursing the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiya Allah Ta'ala and Ajma'in. We love and hate for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So those people who hate the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have no love for them. We don't sit with them. We don't make da'wah with them. We don't break bread with them. We don't uh, have any dealings with them except to maybe call them to the truth, to leave falsehood, to leave wickedness, to leave zambaka, to leave heresy, to leave kufr and evil and the, all the the evil that comes from that evil and wicked doubt. And Ahl Sunnah, we believe in following the leaders of the Muslims. As the Prophet said in countless hadith, I said, 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 I and those things which you love and those things that you hate. As long as, he's, as he doesn't order you to do sinfulness. And if he orders you to do sinfulness, then there's no hearing and obeying in that sinfulness. The Prophet wasallam said also that we should obey the leader even when even if he takes your wealth and beats you back. So if he oppresses you, you still have to be obedient in those things which involve obedience to Allah, but not in disobedience to Allah. So still, that lets us know not to rebel. We don't call to the rebellion of leaders. We don't curse the leaders. We don't make take fear of the leaders, except those leaders that have that are rightfully outside of the fold of Islam, meaning that they have left the fold of Islam either through their deeds, either through their statements, and either through their uh, their belief. And in accordance with the Dawabit, the principles of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah, from the Salaf up until the ulama of today, from Ahl Sunnah, according to the criteria that are established from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, in accordance with the method of the Salaf, that's what restricts Ahl Sunnah. That's what distinguishes Ahl Sunnah from Ahl Bid'ah, Wal Akwa, and the people of Takfir. And I want to warn my brothers and sisters, especially in the locality I'm from, in Seattle, Washington, to beware of those Shia, those people who went away and studied a little bit, learned a little Arabic. Don't let them teach Arabic in your community. Don't let them teach Quran to your children. Don't have anything to do with them. Do not let them give lectures in your masajid and call facade, spread facade. Those who use it in the as Allah shows 
Jesus and illustrates for us in Surah Al-Baqarah about the munafikun, those hypocrites. Don't let them have any say in your masajid and in the affairs of the Muslim. And beware of Allah to fear who we've been infected with in our community, who've tried to destroy our communities and spin the people, uh, you know, involve the people instead of teaching the people Islam, because most of them were juhala, they don't know Islam. They spin the people and busy the people speaking about the leaders. This one's not a Muslim. This one is this. This one just signed this treaty. This one did this. The, the, the non-Muslims are in this land. The, the, they spin the busy the people with things that will never benefit them in this life nor the next. May Allah protect us from Abba Tafir. May Allah protect us from the Khawarij. Because the Prophet said, Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar. Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar. The Khawarij, those people who make Tafir without the right to do so, without the Dawab, without the, 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 the principles of Tafir, not knowing what Tafir Ma'ayyan is, what that Tafir Mutlaq, and all those principles that are established by the ulama, they don't know that. They don't practice that. They just make to fear on whoever their desires, uh, whoever they feel in accordance with their desires is not practicing Islam in a manner that pleases them. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah and bless us to establish and practice this Islam. And may Allah forgive us for our many, many shortcomings as the Prophet said that all the children of Adam, they make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes of those who make repentance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.